Hello, my name is Yogesh Sharma. Today I am going to upload video based on HTTP services in AngularJS. Very important topic. We have to understand it. And first of all, I want to discuss that what is the HTTP services. HTTP services are AngularJS services where uh, by using these services we can read the data from the database server. For example, that uh, you have uh, written a particular action in your controller and you want to call that action through the JS framework. In that condition, you can use the HTTP services. So these services, uh, you know, or this kind of request can be made through the XML HTTP request and as well as JSON, JSONP. JSONP is used whenever you want to exchange data from client to server and server to uh, server to client through the JSON. Okay. So XML HTTP request is uh, whenever you want to make request through the, you know, uh, you want to exchange your data through the XML or a plain text. In that condition, you can use the XML HTTP request. So let's stand, uh, understand that what kind of methods we can use to implement this task that uh, there are lots of methods provided by the HTTP services that is a get, had, post, put and delete. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to discuss about the had, post, put and delete. I'm just going to discuss about the get method. So what is the syntax to get method? You can see here the uh, syntax of get method. Here you can see, uh, see that HTTP.get, it's a method. After that, we have to pass you know the URL of your action which you have defined in your controller and uh, after that config uh, you have to define but it's not uh, compulsory config is optional and um, to make this uh, program very simple I'm not going to take the config okay so after it if your request has been made uh, you know has been created successfully in that condition your success function will be executed but in case uh, in place of success function we can also use the uh, then then is also can can be used in get method of http services and uh, uh, in this tutorial when i will demonstrate it then i will use the then okay so it's a use alternatively okay if you want to use success you can use it if you want to use then you can use it and uh, in this success function you have to define the you know function uh, you know it's a kind of function that uh, it's a kind of response uh, which you are getting from the server and there are some you know arguments are over there like data data is responsible to you know that whatever data you are getting from the server or you can you can say it's a kind of response which you are getting and the status is the http status if your ajax request is completed successfully in that uh, case you can get the status for example that uh, from a range of status, HTTP status are uh, starting from 200 and ending for 299. If your request is successful in that condition, your uh, you know uh, you will get the 200 HTTP status. Okay, headers have the information of your request and response header, and uh, config is optional. And uh, whatever uh, response uh, or whatever you know uh, scope uh, you want to set over here, uh, you can write uh, code uh, in this particular success function. And uh, if you are getting any kind of error, for example, that you have written a wrong URL. Uh, in that condition you will have the error so in this demo I am going to take a table that is the employee table and uh, using the HTTP services I will fetch the data of employee table and this is the structure of my table where I am taking the four fields uh, employee ID employee name salary and address and uh, so start from the project so I am going to create a new project uh, here I am going to take new project asp.net web application angular dot net MVC HTTP. It's a very long empty and okay. It will take some time to create. The project has been created successfully. Now I have to write the code to get the data from the database. Here I am going to take ADO.NET entity data model and this model I am going to create my model name that is the employee. This is my model name. I want to use the database first approach so I have already created the table that is the employee table into the angular demo database so here i use generate from database click new connection whatever database name uh, you know server name is there i am using sql express so my server name is the dot slash sql express and uh, i have to get the data i want to use the angular demo okay so it will make the connection and the, my angular demo name is the angular demo entities okay next it it will install the entity framework 6.0 and uh, I have uh, you know created a single table employee and just want to get the data uh, of employee table so click on finish it will take some time because it, it is going to install the entity framework 6.0 so guys you can see here that we have the table employee table and uh, all the context file and the references has been added in your project and here you can see we are getting the context file that, that is the angular demo entities and in this uh, context file we are uh, sorry in this DX file you have also the model class 
okay so now i am going to create a simple html page by which i can make the request so go and uh, you know uh, i am going to take the reference uh, html page okay we are have the html page index.html so it's fine now i am going to take the ref reference of angular js file i am taking it from my computer you can then download it through the you know manage nuget package manager i think that you are uh, you are you are also aware about that but i am just taking the reference of my uh, you know file i am going to create a new folder that is scripts and in this script i am taking the angular.js so just drag and drop it's fine and uh, another script file where i will write my custom code to get the data so i am taking the javascript file and the my javascript file is myapp.js file it's fine okay now i have to take the reference of myapp.js file to initialize the you know angular app we have to use the ng app here i will define my module name that is a myapp now in this module i will write some code over here like this angular dot module here you are not getting the reference or intelligence okay because you are not working on html page you have just written a simple you know js file so in, in this angular module i will pass my module name in the single quotes or you can say in a string and this is my no, new module that is why i have to pass the empty array because this module is not dependent on any other module so here i have to use the controller and in this controller i will create employee controller it's my controller name but i will take uh, reference of this controller in my div tag on in uh, on html page and uh, in this particular controller i am going to take two dependencies that is first one is the scope and second one is the http because i am going to take you know example of http get method okay so it's fine so using dot scope what i want to set no no not a scope i have to make http dot get then what i will write i have to create uh, first of all i have to create a controller that is a empty controller and uh, the controller name is home and in this home controller i am going to write a simple method that is a get employee okay and in this get employee i want to share my data through the json because json can be read by the angular js very easily so just write a simple code for example that i just want to take the you know angular demo entities this is my context file control dot okay we are not getting the reference first of all you have to set angular demo entities dot model reference now i can get the angular demo entities it's fine new angular demo entities and uh, i'm taking a simple variable where i will get the employees table data into list format okay so as i told you that json can be read by uh, angular js very easily so i am taking the json as a function over here return type as a json and in this json function i will pass first argument is the data which is have the reference of your employee table and second thing is that i have to set the behavior also here, over here json request behavior and allow get it's fine okay so we can check it that is working or not uh, so just copy it get employee and execute the program if you are getting the you know output into the json format in that condition you can understand that your program is working successfully so home slash and get employee so we are getting the table data into the json format it means that it's working fine okay so i have to call this method in your you know in uh, using your angular js so here as i told you first argument is the url of your application so what is the url my url is home slash and get employee this is my action name and in this function it's an anonymous function you will have the response and uh, you can populate any scope variable scope dot and uh, emp table equal to 
response dot data response have the complete you know objects of your um, you know uh, get method so i am taking here response dot data it's fine so you can see here that we are getting the data in the mpmp table uh, variable of scope so uh, what i have to do now i have to take the reference of your your ng controller over here like this ng controller equals to that which controller you have defined over here just copied it and paste it and uh, i just want to create a simple table so i am writing a simple code of table and uh, in this table first i will define the th where i am getting the id i have to copy it paste paste and paste fine here i am getting the name after it the salary and address okay now i want to populate this of uh, this tr dynamically so i have to take ng repeat and uh, emp in emp table this is my scope object okay and uh, in this tds i will write to expression and in this expression i will write emp id this is my field name emp id emp name salary and address so emp id in the same way we can also have emp name address not address first i will take salary and then address okay execute this again and see that what we are getting just change the url of your request index.html so we are not getting any output why i have to check it okay guys uh, i understand that what is uh, what is the problem is actually uh, i have written the wrong syntax over here okay so what you will do you have to take a then function over here and uh, it will take the response and after that it will work fine so now execute this again and let's see that what we are getting we are not getting data still so let's see that what is oh okay we are getting data because it's taking time because uh, your action is executed so here you can see that we are getting the data and uh, i just uh, printed that data into the span tag to you know to press the error so let me you know make it uh, comment and execute this again then you will have the right data what you want so we are getting the data so in this video tutorial you have seen that how we can use the asp.net mvc and angular js both together so i will upload various videos based on it so please subscribe my channel and understand that how we can implement these things okay thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel